it needs to have three characteristics to call it a cult. One is that the guru becomes worship rather than the broader religious principles. Case file, Om Shinrikyo. Japanese cult leader Shoko Asahara convinced disciples that he was Christ reincarnated and that they must surrender their will to his for ultimate salvation. Another characteristic is that it has thought reform-like characteristics, that is, systematic indoctrination with a great focus on confession, criticism, self-criticism in a systematic way. Case file, Jonestown. Jim Jones held all-night preaching sessions where cultists would be forced to confess their sins in public so that Jones could issue brutal public beatings. A third characteristic has to do with heavy exploitation from above, usually the guru himself or herself and other higher-ranking people, and that exploitation tends to be economic and sexual. Case file, FLDS. May 2006, cult leader Warren Jeffs is named one of America's 10 most wanted. His crime, as leader of the fundamentalist Latter-day Saints, a polygamous cult, Warren Jeffs stands accused of the rape and imprisonment of children. But even with their leader on the run from the law, the members of Jeffs' cult see themselves as faithful followers of God, not a band of criminals. One man's cult is another man's religion. It has been that way since ancient times.